rated higher than any steakhouse ever. <laughs> I like I like crab cakes. I like uh, if we want to get maybe a shrimp cocktail. What else do you want? You want some bacon? Should we get some bacon? I want to get the um, seafood trio, which is three levels of cold the tower. Seafood. You want the tower? Tower. Yeah, I'm, I'm tower. not a big tower guy, but get right, it. Right? No, I'm getting get it. it. Yeah, yeah. I'm no, getting, I know. But for me, yeah, just yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah. Tower. Can we have another bread, please? And thank you. Please and thank you. <laughs> You've uh, shelf great. Yeah, it's great. You already asked Keep for more bread. The fucking bread. Let them eat bread. I'm gonna eat five loaves of bread. That's the calories before I eat a fucking thing. <laughs> Ten thousand calories. <laughs> uh, uh, Bone-in filet medium, uh, cream spinach, French fries, mashed potatoes. Did I order the French onion soup? No. Please. Did I order the Caesar salad? Please. And then I'll wait for dessert. Thank you. Before dessert, um, can I get a fleet enema? Do you guys want steak fries for the table? I, he literally he ordered. ordered yeah, but he might eat all that himself. I don't think he no, ordered no, no, for no, anyone else. No, 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 no. Okay. No, 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 no. You sure? Hundred percent. A, th a thousand. <laughs> help. The way help. he ordered, I didn't know Gary, if that was because he's a word we're not yeah. allowed to say, like, say about people anymore. Okay, oh, he figured oh, it out. A laborer? No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. No, blue collar. <laughs> okay. Blue. We can't say right, blue yeah, collar. Onion rings for the table as well. Right, Thank you. Well, my mother. My mother. My mother taught me. Even if you don't think anybody's coming to your fucking house, to have food ready. And then people come. You're not gonna believe this because you're not there. Not only is all that food eaten that night, but we're still going to fucking Taco Bell at three in the morning. They're hardcore, my kids. You gotta come to the house. I know, I Any weekend you can roll up. My girlfriend's been dying to go in a pool. Bring her. It's a three hundred thousand dollar pool. Yeah, it's a scary. Like if you've never seen it for the first time and she doesn't follow me on social media and she has no fucking well, she idea. You, yeah. Oh, okay, so she's seen it. But it's crazy. First, right? Eighty-eight degrees. Eighty-eight all the time. I pay it. I spend it. Five hundred a week. That's kind of hot. No, in the summer. Two thousand a month just for the heated pool. My like my first hand job. Oh, it was at my brother's bar mitzvah. So I post a picture of me and my mother, and then I say, "Best day of my life. First time I've ever got a." Blow a hand job at look my at brother's this, look at this. And, then and then I put a period. And then I put a period. I put my mommy. When I came, I almost passed that one of my. Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking about? What are we? What are we doing this football season? What do we do to take it over the top? Oh wait. Well, let me just get rid of this call, and then I have a million ideas. I want to hear them all. I love it. I've never been to China or Greece. All right, you're coming, right, tonight? Um, How did that have anything to do with Gotham Comedy Club. I go, I go, um, I want to talk about ideas sushi from Barcelona Sports Advisor. He just goes, I've never been to China or Greece. we're going to the Gotham <laughs> Comedy Club. And, wow. and come back. There you go, Stu. Looks great, Stu. Ready to roll. Looks great, Stu. Wow, that Caesar salad looks amazing. How much weight are you down? None. What are you trying to get to? Oh, I want to get to like 170. But I would, I would suck someone's dick for 190. Uh-huh. Yeah, get in there, Jerry. Really get in there, will you? That's what it's all about, right? Friendship? Family? I love you guys. I'd, 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 I'd kill for you guys. What I say? First time you ever came in the office. You got a problem? Come see me. Come see me. I fix it. He's had a couple problems, fixed it. Yeah. Rico never, t I told Rico the same thing, Rico never does, never listens. Not to make it about him, but he's a crumb. Yep. Hello? Listen, who's the best player, who's the best defensive player in the NFL? We still have him, Aaron Donald. Oh, here we go, here no, we go. But, but it's truth. Do you have your sheet? Do you have your sheet? Listen, oh, 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 what you're saying is statistically you think you're a guy? No, 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 no. Did your guy have a better year than our guy? Yes. Yeah. Is he better? Fuck no. What? There's two. Listen, what world are you living in? Like, what do you mean? Are you crazy? Aaron Donald has been triple teamed his whole fucking life. You know? You know yeah, he's done it for fucking two years. Aaron Donald's done it for ten. How? What are we talking about here? He even looks. You like, get the let, let's say, let's say if Jerry blew up three times like the Hulk, he looks like Aaron Donald. <laughs> Nonsense. Really? Very helpful. I'll never make a lunch <laughs> bet with you again. <laughs> never. Ah, ah, ah. Ever. What's up? What's up, Jared? <laughs> How 
are you doing? Good, how are y'all doing? Doing good. We're, uh, we've done all the major work now, so now it's just excitement and uh, might have a cocktail before we go on stage. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking, and uh, we're just gonna have fun. Yeah. We're ready. We're excited. Joey's doing his makeup. Uh, props are on stage. Just a couple loose ends to tie up here. We have obviously our prize nurse Trish will make an appearance. I'm gonna do some injectables. You know, just that old thing. I come here all the time for different things. They do a lot of drag race events here. I've never been readier. I'm excited. I um, just did a booty bump in the restroom. I masturbated a picture of uh, Dave Portnoy, and now I'm just gonna have met Lisa ready so she can find a date tonight. It's true. Oh yeah. He's gonna make me look skinnier. Another day. Another day. It's going great. These uh, Man Mafia is coming out in heaps. They're here to support, and I'm so excited, Trish. So the, the line doesn't end. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're actually doing. We're actually branding our own brand of panty shields because we have to have everything on um, on brand. Dave Portnoy said we're not allowed to do anything unless he gets money for it. And if we hand out panty shields from another brand, we have to make sure it says Barstool on it. So we had to make our own labels for panty shields in case there's a spotting. We know that there was a uh, shortage. Um, a feminine, feminine care products, so and that's why we bought everything because we want to be the shareholders, the majority shareholders. <laughs> Get your goon fest panda shields, ladies. I'm, I'm, here, I'm just here relaxing, and I, have, I chose the black satin robe. No, he went with something a little I more Asian. I went with an oriental print, if you will. And we're just hanging out, you know. It's just a couple fellas. We're gonna have a cute cocktails. We're gonna go on stage, and we're gonna enjoy ourselves. The women uh, will drop their panties, and the men will drop their drawers. And uh, that's pretty much all that's gonna happen. But unfortunately, you have to be here to see the real show. So we're at one on one. That's that. It's gonna be an action-packed show. We've got sh uh, sh tricks and and turn twists and turns the whole show. We have. A, uh, I'm gonna expose myself. I'm gonna get shot up with testosterone. Um, I might even. Uh, into the crowd. You have to see what happens. But Dave Portnoy, thank you for supporting us and um, and buying us this beautiful theater. The show is held up right now because Joe's doing a rewipe. Listen, I felt something itching. I did a rewipe, and thank God I did because there was there was stuff on my asshole that was itching me. Uh, well, we're here for the, at the Wilbur. We have two shows tonight, two sold out shows. Uh, the original show was we went tickets went on sale February of 2020. Like, uh, COVID happened like two days later. Our original sh first show was scheduled for June 20th of 2020, so it's 756 days delayed. I don't think any show in history has been delayed uh, this much, but we're ready to go. So it is, the first show starts at seven. It's 1.25, so we're just getting all the stuff set up. We're gonna do some run-through stuff, some rehearsal with the band, they're coming at three, so uh, we're just getting ready. Official hashtag. Let's have. See, can you move that class to the back? Yes. We're doing a, a pre show prayer to Allah the Prophet. Now I'm, rad, now I'm radical Islam, believe it or not. Let's have the best. Let's have the best show ever. Let's have so much fun. Let's listen to each other. I'm film, film. film if you want. I thought you weren't coming. Oh, I never said I wasn't coming. You know I'm here? Oh, no. No. Give me the. I never said I never said I wasn't coming. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's not talk over each, each other. other. Don't talk over each other. Don't, don't undermine my authority. Don't undermine my authority. And don't talk about Zach. Yeah, and I never, I never once, I don't think once. I just talked him. about like separation of kind of like your thing. Well, you should say don't come to the show. I thought it was kind of like fly. Fuck. I get what you're saying. Fuck. No, I get what fuck. you're saying. That's what I thought. Okay. Sorry.
Let's have the best show. I love Focus you. I'm so proud of us. I'm so proud of us. Well, the man I mafia. The man mafia has no idea what the fuck's coming right now. Fired up. I love Joey. I love Lisa, Sandra. Yeah, I guess I guess Kirk didn't want me here. I feel I feel bad. I didn't I didn't know he didn't want me here, so I don't know. Step on that holy ground. Ain't no time to fool around. Working at the house of the show. I thought that was good, right? We did it, Joe! We did it. I think that was perfect time. It was an hour, t hour 11. Yeah, we wrapped it up good. Oh, wow. I thought that went great. I thought that went great. I'm still like, fuck, I feel like I jumped off a building. There's so much adrenaline running through my veins right now. This Man Mafia was fucking electric. Fucking Sony Hall was sick. Live Aunt Lisa fucking killed it. Pat and I it, it was fucking... It was, just, it was just so much fun. Everyone who came out and had a great time. We, we offended every subculture and we made sure not to miss anyone. And that's exactly... We're all inclusive podcasts. That's exactly what we wanted to do. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, follow us on Instagram, and enjoy yourself. It's a wild ride. It was great. I have to... We, listen, there were some fuck-ups or always will be. We got it done. So, you know, I was, I'm very satisfied. I was concerned all week about this in the last few weeks. Now that it's done, I'm super relieved, so until we do it again, I'm sure we'll do it again next year.
Christmas tree don't know. Yes, okay. It's pretty cool though. Not gonna lie. For the kids. What do you do? See that play? <laughs> I mean, they're sleeping on me. 11th spot in the lineup. I play ball. That's what I do. I play ball. You ain't gonna hear a lot of Jersey Jerry fans today, that's for sure. I mean, this is star power all over the field. I'm the I'm the, the last guy that deserves to be here, but I'm here. I'm here. Last year I fucking parked that out there, baby. You got over here? It. Yeah. 325? Yeah. One for one. That's why I'm doing the MC this year, because I went one for one, bombed it. That's it, that's all. That's I said it. I'm out. Fuck it's not it. gonna get better than that. No, nah, it ain't gonna yeah. get better than that. <laughs> Deep up. Yeah. Rock. You doing right? Yeah, great. Hey. By the dawn's light, once so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleam. Those broad stripes and bright stars hung a bell. I gotta get a perfect inside pitch. Listen, I might have put on a couple pounds, but I could still ball. I could still ball. They, they got me a catcher. This is a disaster. They forget their team all state. It's all right. That's, yeah, high school, yeah. What's up, boss? How's everything? Yo. Little 69 act. I think the fans like the 69. They do. Good, good. When are you coming back in the office? I've never been in the office. Barstool. I've never been in the office. No? My ass has never been invited. Really? I told those motherfuckers, I'm waiting. Oh my god. I'm, I'm waiting for an invite. Oh my god. Yeah, really cool gift. That's going right in my fucking room. Homemade, bro. homemade shit. That yeah. dude does it for, he does it for the Hall of Fame. Yeah. So. Like that? You were 69 growing up too? I, am, I can't confirm or deny that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet money on it. <laughs> Mitch, fan of the 69. You gotta respect it. Under the lights. Jersey Jerry. Steelers Nation. Just don't get better. Don't get better. All right, let's go. Who leads off? Let's go. Team World. I'm the third batter. I'm not getting the ball. What are you going to do? Well, is coming. Don't go past the
So hold on. You will see the video of me going yard. You'll see that 100%. That is destined to happen. Mark my words, I'm going yard. Mark my words. Mark them now. Over. They got me down in 11. You understand that? Uh, go. Hey, you, you got me down in 11. You got that, right? Safe. Be safe. Be safe, bro. Safe. Feel good. One for one home run. No doubter. Uh, just one at bat, though. You know, it is what it is. Two power hitters on the team. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good game, though. If I didn't bat last, I'd have two or three at bat. It's on the coach, Paul. Come on, Gary! We'll go, we'll go, we'll go. Answer the call, Gary! We'll go. Answer the call, Gary! Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> they wanted me to go in the home run derby. I said yes. Adams, he's a stealer. Let's go, baby. let him go. Body from the jump. I'm an athlete. I'm an athlete. There's no doubt about it. I mean, uh, one at bat, one home run. They had me last in the lineup, so I can't do nothing about it. Um, unfortunately, the last out of the game was the batter in front of me. If I got up there again, I would have hit another home run. I would have went two for two with two home runs. They put me in the home run derby. I hit um, two home runs, just as many as everybody. Uh, only the only person to hit two home runs was Alex Highsmith. But uh, listen, it was great. It was great, uh, good cause, the Hayward House. Um, I came, I saw, I conquered. Listen, I, 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 I tell people I'm an athlete. You, you know, this might be, you know, um, not healthy, but I'm an athlete, man, you know? I, I, play, I played baseball in high school. Uh, you, you, you put anybody on that, on that baseball field that hasn't played baseball before, it shows. My, a lot of my team didn't play baseball, but that's here or, here or there. We did this for charity, we did this to have fun. It was great. I'll be back next year, trust me. Trust me, I'll be back next year. We love you, Jerry. Hey, we love you too. Yeah. 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 
Just trying to soak it all in, Spider. You know, be a, a man of international mystery. Figure out what type of area we are. And we see the Zara up there. As the stores would say, that's mid. So, you know, we're kind of probably in the middle area. It's not like Dior, it's not Hermes, it's Zara. It's mid. You can't find a coffee for the life of it. Dave. What's in this thing? I have no idea. Just said iced coffee. I think it's, I think there's milk in there on the bottom. They, they, they don't know how to do coffee. Yeah. That's crazy. How do you feel fight day? Any nerves? No, I'm, you know, I don't want to make it about me. I'm worried about my change. Like changing into my outfit, how that's going to the, the flow of it all. But I don't want to be like, I don't think I want to be in the outfit like before the main card. Mm. Like I'll be in it now, basically. I guess maybe once I get to the arena, but to, yeah. I, I, I don't know. Bad yeah. boy. Oh, I forgot the king. Uh, can we go back? You want to go back? Yeah, can we go back to the hotel for a second? I knew I was going to forget something. Probably the most important thing if they let me in, if the cane is really what takes it to the next level. There you go. No, yeah. but it doesn't stay. <laughs> and it's also like... <laughs> that it, looks ridiculous. And the amount of gold we got on is kind of lit, not though. Yeah, what's like, that, the stopwatch? Or something everything like Everything is around the neck, yeah. It's are, you a, gonna, are you going to like time their fights? This is... Like, time and how quick they get a knockout. I, I don't know, I was just trying to get as many props as I could, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> you gotta zip up, man. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's kinda good. <laughs>
How does your shoulder feel? Well, I'm going to have to go to the hospital tomorrow. So I don't know by the time I'm going to leave the page, it'll be the front. I, I, you know, like, it's not about me, but. Oh, no, it is. Some are saying. It was, it was a hero ball today. Sure. Mommy wants to the Jay Ranzana and Bobby wants to the Hollywood Hat. Hi, Jamaica's now. This movie's too nice for folks. Stop being our ass. Do you hear what she said? Can we all just listen on the realness? Without Dave, our still sports book up. Me and Patty would not have the belief behind us over the walls in America. We would not have the funds behind us to absolutely make a go of an EA. Without them, it would be so much harder. So today, Paul and the whole team has to support me. Please give them a round of applause. Well, listen, here's the real one. I will be representing Dave Porter's watch company. Yeah, 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 we'll get burned the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Once you made the turn, I was like, oh, here we go. You know what? I'm saying you should let him know. I 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 Kind of, I don't want to say he was like ripping into Eddie, but I, when he's like Francis coming on, it's like in a way I feel like you're working for us without me having to pay you because I feel like you're on a lot of our pods, and I don't know what else to what to add to things that you've said already, but here we go. Yeah, I, I said something similar to Eddie, uh, and I, Son of a Boy Dad was the first one that I've done. Um, I didn't know if I was welcome and uh, kind of worried. I was very nervous when I came in, and I'm very nervous today. I, I remember the very first time you brought me on a radio show it was like week two at, uh, at Barstool for me, and it was after I messaged the swimsuit models for a date and uh, you just castrated me <laughs> you know, I'm on air. So Francis, you're in here. Hey everybody, okay. Kelly texted me. Okay. You guys right. know that, right? Right. I did not initiate that conversation. No, you initiated the whole thing though. It's wildly inappropriate, wildly inappropriate. I'm yeah, I didn't air. like that. I uh, wasn't a fan of that move, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, how's it been post Barstool? You know, uh, interesting. Dave, you know, I've, never not been grateful uh for for everything you did for me and, and i distinctly remember the night you fired me i was in free fall and you sent me a text uh and you said uh for what it's worth i didn't want it to go this way but you're gonna be okay uh you're a talented guy i wish we could have done things differently actually people forget when the, when you and i got yelled at by dave for the duncan awards though i did get yelled at Significantly more than me, harder. yeah, a lot more than me. Francis was then fired like a day later and took all the heat. We absolutely got to hi like hide underneath. We, we had the cover of, of the Francis firing, so yeah. No, I love him. And all seriously, I, I want him bad. Yeah. So it, it's certainly not like you know a forever ban. If it was something like yeah, I think it would be helpful to me. We we I would explore it. Are think, you interested, Francis? Yeah, definitely. I mean, on, I, who wouldn't be? It would it'd be an honor and a privilege. Uh, to work here again. Um, Surreal. <laughs> Later. How do you think that went? Uh, hey, Pete. You guys just have fun. How you been, man? All right. Have a seat. Yeah. Well, thanks. What happened? It sucked. Like, I think Dave even said on the show, like, I remember it vividly. He called me. He was like, I think we got to fire Francis. Like, that fucking sucks. So, it was one of those ones where it's like we never stopped liking him and i always have thought he's incredibly talented so if he comes back it's good for barstool i'd love it yeah i thought that went well i was very low-key it was like i mean I, I get the sense dave was in a very good mood so i feel lucky to have caught him on a on a day like that there's a lot of rumblings about maybe going forward you come back yeah i think that'll depend on should I be looking at you or at the camera? I think that'll depend on, on what they want me to do or what they see for me and what sort of, uh, you know, uh, money they might want to give me and not to say that I 
deserve a ton, but like I'm doing fine if it's not sort of in line with that. I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't work, but yeah, it'd be great to work here again. So you're down. Yeah. Honestly, it's it's a better place to work now than it was when I was here. And I wouldn't take the job for granted and got different I have different desires and goals now. I wanna I could use a steady paycheck. Healthcare. Healthcare and you know, a little more time potentially with my, my family, you know, as opposed to like grinding on the road every weekend, like having to fucking stay in shithole towns and be away all the time. Mm -hmm. That's sort of my thought process. I would love if Francis came back. I think he's very funny. I think he would uh, fit in well with everyone here. Obviously he did before, but I wasn't here when he worked here, so I would love to get a chance to like really work with Francis. It'd be cool. Well, I, I feel like he thinks it's a foregone conclusion, but uh, I'd be I'd be down for it. I mean, we uh, it's, I had fun with Francis, bro. I fuck with Francis. I love when Francis came back. I liked Francis a lot when he worked here. Um, he was complimentary towards me on a number of occasions, which is really all it takes for me to like you. So we'll see. But I, I think that's right here. Everyone here would love that. That's really nice. I mean, you said Francis is racist, right? Yeah, I told him I hate him. Yeah. He knows his um, <laughs> I would be so about it. I think Francis is talented. He's handsome. Um, he'd make everybody better. He's going to be expensive, baby. Mm -hmm. He'll get it. How's the baby chance? We're fucking Billy. We're fu Billy's gonna get fucked tonight. Fucked raw by all of us. We're gonna run a train on Billy because Caroline's gonna take the stage. Caroline turns out is an amazing singer, like really, really good. And then we're like, well, we don't want to just throw Roan to the wolves and have Roan come back on stage, even though Roan's a very talented vocalist and a great performer. We want like a buffer zone, so we're gonna get Billy football on stage to really fuck everything up. And then Roan's gonna come on, take the mic from Billy and be like, okay, we're doing Killing in the Name of, and the house is gonna come down again. So Billy's just gonna be like, oh man. <laughs> like, like, fuck you guys, like for real, like, fuck you. Dude, where are the uh, hot girl standing next to an ugly friend <laughs> to appear hotter? You almost have a million followers, I checked your Twitter recently. I'm thinking about locking my account when I get to 999,999. I was surprised the last time I looked you were like, at like seven. You have 974,000 followers. I, I, I He's 25,000 away. I literally don't care. There's no like, way you're at Pump Punk if you don't follow PSD. <laughs> Woo! I'm nervous. I have to get drunk in order to perform. I don't know if that's a good idea because, like I said before, I was forgetting my own words, but we'll see. Not bad. Liam is the one who needs to write the fit, because Liam is the, is, the, is the fucking supreme to me. The worst play with a Mr. Clean, just right. to let everybody know you are white. There we go. Yeah. 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 Everyone knows I'm white. Confirm you are white. Chairs, bottom of the nine. Shorty sipping whiskey, but she can't sip mine. I was feeling so divine. Burning like a fry. Yeah, a little watermelon sugar got me high. Let's take a trip in time. Spitting coolers full of wine. On the run of back, sun shake got hairy with the style. Curfew was 11, getting 10. Smelling like a greenhouse, mama think I lost my mind. Yeah, I, I got I got back to back texts from Billy saying I'm taking this seriously. And then the next one was I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be 15, 15 minutes late. 15 minutes late. late. <laughs> so I'm gonna end up with him laughing, looking around, being like, I fucked up. But if Billy fucks it up, the rest of the concert could be great, but by far the most viral piece that would come out of this concert oh, would be Billy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me a hug, give me a hug. So much I like I like our pre-show. I like a pre-show hug we should have started last night. Hey, have a good time. We get to do fun shit for the whole fucking yep. hilarious. He's actually hilarious. Pack show, New York City. Punk? What are we talking about? <laughs> Fuck, I love this shit. Okay. Dude, if uh, I shit myself during one of the songs, we'll like kind of just shuffle everything around to what Caroline come up earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just put black towels up there. Feeling it right now? Honestly, bro, if you shit yourself, I'm shitting myself. The crowd, I'll, I'll shit. I'll and shit. then everyone's shit. Then the room's gonna fill up with shit. It starts, it starts turning in just like a shit ball fight. <laughs> it's like prison, basically. The biggest log gets three pump punk t shirts when we make it. New York City makes a motherfucking noise. I play.
played football, played soccer. It made me so popular. I shoved geeks inside lockers. They were freaks. I was cool. But now I'm a blogger. Act like a punk rocker. I still live with my mother. Cause I peaked in high school. Yeah, I'm roommates with my brother. My mom's basement's my room. I peaked in high school. I ran the world. I peaked in high school. You you think you're a fucking nerd. nerd. In high school, I was the band But now I'm not cool, so I started this fucking band I've got this leather jacket, those geek wish that Hi, um, I'm feeling really nervous And I work at bar school I kicked all the asses, I skipped all the classes I made fun of kids with glasses And my dick spin is too When you're like about to come, it kind of feels bad. That's how I feel. So what if we had a woman singing a song? Well, who would that be? Did we just add a piece that's gonna add a whole new dimension to pop punk? Do we have a woman's voice right now? Did we just hire a woman named Caroline? That might be able to put it the fuck on. Caroline, why don't you get the fuck out of here? Found a new girl and it only took a couple weeks Remember when you said that you wanted to give me the world Oh good for you, I guess that you've been working on yourself I guess that therapist I found for you, she really helps And you can be a better man for your brand new girl There he is, there's the boy I made it in time I've never sang in front of a group what's of people the, in what's my the, life um, said, you got a text from you Because there was some debate, debate before you got here Is Billy going to take this seriously? And he got a text saying you're going to take this seriously Yes. But I then text. he got a text right after that saying you're going to be 15 minutes late Well because I had wow, multiple man. Like I, was, I, had, <laughs> I had to go to my family for all day Okay. I, let me just practice my ears <laughs> In the days we sweared Out on the streets of a runaway American dream at night we ride through mansions of glory in suicide machines. That was pretty good. Do you guys... Wait, that was crazy, right? Oh, the interlude. Hey, so, when you're on stage, and if you know this, forgive me, but there's gonna be, there's monitors, watch monitors, okay? Do they show the lyrics? No, but you'll be able to hear yourself. <laughs> it's not karaoke. I've never done anything like this. Well, why did you volunteer? Why did you volunteer to do a billion? I did. How's the hair? It looks good. At nice we ride mm -hmm. through mansions of glory. Billy, suicide Billy, machines. Billy. It's almost like it's time for <laughs> for Billy football. Hey Rowan, I got a good idea. Let's entertain some fucking clients. Through 
mansions of glory Suicide machines Smoke from cages on highway Not cold meal fuel injected And heading out of the line Oh, baby, it's time Get some bones on your back It's a death trap It's a suicide rap You gotta get out while you're young Good job. Thank you. I'm proud of you, buddy. I was literally shitting my pants before that. Thank you, guys. Bro, nobody believed in Billy and he fucking did it. Billy did it. Nobody believed in you. Billy, Billy. I said yes, I'm not going to talk, but I knew we would have to on this. This dude, Alex Hine, I have no fucking clue who he is. All right, it's the first time I've heard of him. And then he makes the comment, like, brings up the business. I'm like, this guy's a piece of fucking shit. You think this is over? Do you think Dave Portnoy will <laughs> muster up the courage to come back at your... Well, let me give you the inside scoop. So I have a mutual friend from college that now works at Barstool Sports, and Dave had him on the podcast. So my friend called me today and said, oh, Dave talked about you on his podcast today. But my friend, he works for Barstool. He's like, Alex, you know, I want this off the record. But basically, I and I'm not going to say anything he said off the record, but I'm going to say this. I said, listen, Ben, you better tell Dave, you better warn them that when I'm in New York City, I'm coming straight to the headquarters, and I'm going to find him. I don't care if he's doing a pizza review. I don't care if he's doing a podcast. Brian Time 99, Alex Stein is going to call him out to his face. Mitzi, so you're friends with that piece of shit? I, I think friends is a strong term, but I do say I've known him for a long time because he Yeah, went. he's an absolute cock. Look, I agree. He's a cock, Mitzi. I can, I can really barely talk right now. I'm so, so upset right now with Dave Portnoy uh, going, what he's saying about me. But I'm just going to I'm just gonna call like I said. Everybody that knows me, I got nothing to hide here. I'll tell you exactly what happened. I reached out to Stein, who I knew back at LSU from his LSU class 15 years ago. I hadn't seen the guy in over 10 years. And I called him yesterday saying, I've got my boss at Barstool's back against you, period. Should I have made the phone call and reached out to him? Obviously, that was a mistake. I, I should not have done that. I literally made the phone call backing up my boss in Barstool, and now I'm getting fried for it. I, I, I'm, I'm just sick. I, I literally am sick right now. Uh, this whole thing's BS. I love Dave. I love Barstool, Viva. And I'm, I, I mean, I'm almost kind of about to choke up. I'm so upset. Is he crying in like the the, the stall, the bathroom stall? I want to say yeah. something? You can say something quickly. Quick Go statement. ahead. Oh, okay. I think you should puke. I, I want. I, I really want to. You should. I do it. No! No! <laughs> no! I wasn't kidding. No, I mean, I, there's no cool. chance in hell. I, I would think y'all would. Ever believe? I would think y'all know me and know I, I love to I mean, just the fact that I'm even having it. I mean, I'm. Let's go. I'm about to have a panic attack. No, you just uh, calm down. Okay. Dual, dual, calm down. down. I'm even having it. Oh, God. <laughs> I feel so bad for him, but like, he's got to calm down. I know they will be here today, which is bad, bad for Mincy. Um, I'm worried for his well-being. He should have never called that dude. But if it's off the record, doesn't matter. You can't say off the record. I'm honored to work here and I love Dave. Here, I'm, yes. gonna, I'm gonna give you some real advice. No bullshit. Okay. It's gonna suck for a little bit for you. Okay. But you'll be okay. I mean, this is, these are serious, serious allegations. This is, this is like doomsday type shit. If there's one thing I know about Dave Portnoy, it's loyalty is extremely important to him and making phone calls to the enemy is up. Uh, big no-no. There's just something weird about why, if you haven't talked to a guy in 10 years, why would you call him to say, hey, I have my boss's back? Like, wouldn't that be like a given? I guess Brandon's the king of the South now. It's uh, Walker Land Delight. Shut up, shut up. I'm not one that celebrates somebody else's demise, right? <laughs> I'm not, that's not me. Uh, I mean, I've been in it, I feel for him. He takes everything serious, so it's like, you know. Oh yeah, and you don't? Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Rat talk is now yesterday's news. Yeah, last month's news. I mean, I'm, I'm on cloud nine right now. Because I was never a rat. Never. 
Okay. Thank you. Hey, 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 hey. I'm just, I'm not a guy that gets involved in scant. Well, I guess, apparently I do, but. Mincy was somehow gonna fall. I didn't know it would be this, but somehow he'd fall. It would, it, the fall off was gonna happen. Hey, Dave's coming in today, by the way. Dave's yeah, coming in in 20 minutes. The, the, <laughs> he just got oh, wow, oh, wow. scenes. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's been texting me. Oh, I didn't, I wasn't on Twitter. And I just got a text out of the, out of the clouds. I said, this Dave thing is the biggest misunderstanding. I called Stein to have Dave's back. But I was on Dave's side, and I was like, I don't, what are we talking about? <laughs> and then I went on Twitter, uh, and I was like, Dave's gonna be here, just talk to him in person. Well, no, I mean, I just, I, Stein's a guy I knew 15 years ago. You know, he got into it with Dave, and I called Stein to have Dave's back, and Barstool's back, and defend Barstool. Clearly, I should not have reached out to him, and that was a mistake, but Stein went on Jason Whitlock yesterday and said, I, we talked, and, and Dave, Dave D messaged me earlier and said, did you call him? And I said, yes. I'm not going to lie and say I didn't. I called him to defend Dave and Barstool against him. Period. I did it to back Dave and Barstool up. Period. Oh, Period. I can't talk to him. Dave, right? hey, yourself I, I, real quick. Right, For the boys, Dave. Uh, uh, tell him I can't even look at him. Can't look at it. It, 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 it's tough to look at. So how can I look a man? I mean, you got, we got to keep a tight circle. He's right over me. It's sickening. This is this is literally this place around here is Game of Thrones. You tell Jerry something, he tells fucking Big Tone. Mincy's making side phone calls. I you, you I know enough. Game of Thrones is back. The second you can't trust somebody. Gotta kill him or else they'll kill you. He'll give that dude the keys to this kingdom. He's <laughs> in a bad spot. Well, there, there, that I saw him outside. Oh, you did? Yeah. And what'd he say? I said, I can't look at you. <laughs> he I almost walked. puked. I saw that. You don't know who to trust in this place. It's crazy. No. You That's got crazy. You got Jersey Jerry squawking to Big Tone. He's placing phone calls to this lunatic guy. And by the way, like Eddie sent me it. He, Eddie sent me the clip of what? It's the uh, fat guy. What's his name? Uh, Whitlock. Whitlock and Alex Stein. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't care. I, I could care less. I'm not like, I'm over this. And he's like, well, did you see what he said? I'm like, I don't care. And he's like, Mincy called him. He said off the record. Yeah, off the record. Words off the record. Right. And then he's like, it wasn't off the record. It's tough. So yeah. uh, I see you got the crown. Yeah, he's the king of the south. But yeah, no, Mincy, Mincy Fredo. Yeah, yeah, and, and we, we also. There's no other way to describe what he did. Millmore's making that too. I, I got Fredo. I can't. I don't know. Yeah. You say a word here, and no, he went against the family. Kiss him, and you say I knew. It what was a you, bananas Mincy. move to call him after. Wow. How things turn quickly. <laughs> Oh my God! He looked despondent. Oh, he was—he was—he was basically crying. Yeah, I told him I was like, "You should just throw up on the street." <laughs> Little way, Tommy. He'll be fine. Minor setback, major comeback. What's going on here? I got a little leak. Frequent, everyone's being pretty yeah. chill about it. Yeah. The whole place is just raining. The amount of water that must be in that gap right there, that's probably flooded. Is it that's leaking? It's not in the vent. It's not even the top. Yeah, I don't think it like got on my desk or anything. Like yeah. all my shit is dry. Yeah, a few conditions aren't always ideal, but it's about how you play. This, seriously, it couldn't be more. That hole is just where I sit. And I walk in. I walk in, and Clemmer just looks at me and goes, "Another L, Marty." I go, Jesus Christ. Clemmer's giving you L? I'm like, no, I'm getting the fucking hanger boy over there. <laughs> L after L for Martin Archibald Bush. Just knew the pipe for teammate. Let's, uh, I feel like Jerry, Jerry is a uh, construction person. I feel like he might have done it to his desk when he left. He's not doing shit. Oh, oh that's, a, that's a fix. I mean, they're going to bang, they're going to bang you guys. I, I might as well. You guys might as well cut costs and have me do it. That's 1500 easy. You can get up there and fix that. Fittings, for sure. <laughs> this place is shot, huh? Well, I'll tell Dave. So what happens when you go to the cheaper route. <laughs> this building is going down. <laughs> Wait, should, are we in danger? Should, this we, isn't should a, we leave? This isn't a second floor, third floor issue. This is a whole building issue. 
kind of makes me want to leave, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. There is a single drop of water coming down, and it's directly where I sit. And that's okay, it's whatever. But then I find this. Right after that, a note from Nick that says, Rudy, I borrowed your space bar, be back Tuesday. Love, Nikki. Who does that? <laughs> So it's a weird start to the day, that's for sure. Not as bad as that area though. I'm in like the suburbs of New Orleans, not that bad. They're in like the fifth ward over there. Speaking of which, Mincy's desk got absolutely <laughs> <True>. flooded. <laughs> His condoms got ruined. Ultra, ultra ribbed. <laughs> He's safe and he doesn't care about him coming, he just wants to please the woman. Ultra ribbed for her. That, that's, a, that's southern hospitality. How are we doing? You see the flood? Uh, have... I saw people tweeting about it. All right, well, I'm about to go check it out. All right. It's 11.36, he just got here. What the fuck? Is this Pete's fault? Holy fuck. Is there like a leak upstairs? It's from the roof, oh, actually. Oh, shit. I know. It's like, of the whole building. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> What do you have to say for yourself? What are you talking about? You think you think that's me? What? My bad. Thank you. Now grab a mop. Blamed you. Only morons. <laughs> this just in, Queen Elizabeth II has passed away at the age of 96. We have our foreign correspondent Wonton Don at the scene at Buckingham Palace. Yes, thank you. The Queen is in fact dead, and the mood here in London is quite somber, really. Um, we, this, uh, we're just uh, mentioning this Queen Elizabeth. Lizzie. Yes. Right, right. Top G. Top, Top G. G, yes. Fit bird, huh? Fit in, bird. In her younger days, Lizzie. some would say. Boy, it's uh, just taking the piss, right? Huh? Uh, I'm just out here trying to blow a f have a good time, you know. But why you bleep out? Why you bleep out? Uh, no one cares about you smoking. F we are. Hey, we, we watch for that. All I can say, I'm British, right? In it. We we, we just miss you every day, all day. Top bird, top G. We That's all we all we all miss Queen Elizabeth, and um, hopefully, oh, uh, yeah. Mate. I wanna stand with you on a mountain, Lizzie. Well, I wanna the king has big shoes to fill. All right, back to you guys. I wanna lay that bird forever. <laughs> Thank you, Donnie. Once again, Queen Elizabeth passed away at age 96, our forever queen, gone too soon. Have you launched the graphic? No, nobody from our social teams asked for it, so I guess, I guess no one's gonna need it or use it. There's no, res there's no respect for the British monarchy in this office. No. We're, we, we have a British man 20 feet from me right now. Well, he who should. has also told me earlier he does not care. This kid here! Come on! Did you see that finish? Did you see what he put in there? Top fucking bins, mate! Fuck you! But you know what he did to I came here, You didn't know about football until I came to this company, bro. You didn't know about football until I came to this company, bro. You didn't know about football until I came to this company, bro. Yeah, he's over here. We're in the middle. Oh, no. 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 Oh,
like in terms of her impact on the world or just yeah. visually? Yeah, it's bad, it's bad. Bad gal? Bad, bad girl, yeah. Oh, there's a specific way that you should react to a queen dying? Yeah, I would say, yeah, it's sort of, she's sort of imprinting her, it's like let us mourn in our own way. Yeah, listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my jokes off about how how thick she was. Um, <laughs> no, still no dragons, so I don't care. It's a devastating loss in the world. She's the longest reigning monarch of all time. Nobody's reacting right. I already can tell, I can tell people have been joking when I wasn't here. She's I, the longest reigning monarch of all time. It sounds like it was time for her to die. I have to leave this place because I'm gonna murder everyone in here for not respecting I'm, the I'm, I'm a royals guy. You're a royals guy. You Though I just, I've just, I've just learned that I made, I made rest in peace graphics eight years ago and they're not using them. Queen. What, what's going on? Queen. What about? Gone. The queen what? Officially dead. Oh. <laughs> she made the best out of a bad situation. Yeah. And look where she is now. Dead. 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 R.I.P. a real one. Macro Singh low-key killed John Madden and then we started talking about the queen dying and then the, we did the takeies on her dying. We were kind of gambling big on this one. Also, how many times was she boosted? The three feet of... <laughs> <laughs> of the still alive person of the year on PMT. Yeah, Loki. It's a, a Loki. It's a four feet. Because I was the initial person was Bill Russell, and then we're like, no, that's definitely gonna happen. Let's do Queen Elizabeth. Five Queen seven. Elizabeth game of the year. Um, and then the yeah, over we'll see. Hopefully it hits for her. Matt Stafford. I loved her. It was a big queen for touchdown scores. Huge. Huge stool. So he gets that ass every yeah. day. Everyone grieves their own way. The way you're doing it, you're pretending that you didn't care. I get it. It's fine. I told him he's a very sad I'm way not to do patriotic. It. No, I know. Hey, listen. Hey. No, give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Come on. He's not even sad about this. He's so sad. You're so sad and you're lashing out. Come on. No, give me a hug. No, no, no. Go away. Go away. I feel bad. So, I'll chat to your guy. I'm sorry. So, bro. Everyone grieves their own way. He's just happening to grieve by just saying he doesn't care. Erica, did you say sorry to troops? <laughs> this is my love, Erica. Erica said, for what? <laughs> Yes! <laughs> he's lashing out. He's pretending he doesn't care. You know this guy's the biggest troll in the company. Hello, everybody. Nice to meet you. Hello, guys. Hey, how's it going? Happening. I'm Dan. Hey, I'm Lucy. Good to meet you. Dan. Nice to meet you. I'm PFT. Hey, well, Lucy. Nice, well, nice to meet you. you. How's it going? I'm PFT. PFT. You can sit right here. Okay. Yeah, we'll okay. Sit right here. Sing. I'll get in. I'll get in. I'll get in. You guys want some water? Let's see. Yeah, uh, let's, I would love a water. There you go. Should I lean well, back? I'd kill myself. Oh, you're good. Okay, it's cool. Good. <laughs> no, it's really good. I feel like I'm in some kind of really weird. Yeah. Oh, 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 the zoom. We don't, we don't want like, anybody else to die today. We, no, no. we lost it, the queen. You, well, uh, today. Yeah. Oh, God save the queen, baby. Okay. okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. That's what I was gonna yeah. ask you too. Obviously. I was gonna say, these are in awesome. my world, this is my Super Bowl. We are presenting the key to the city of Toledo to Dan Big Cat Cat. Cheers, Cheers, your high noon. I love that. Great picture. Great. You guys just made me some money. Thank you. <laughs> we are in the Hooters Orange Zone, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna have two guys, they are gonna have a wing eating competition. You have 30 seconds. Two, one, go! Come on! You got a whole city dependent on you! Shout out Hooters! Look at this guy! It's the Scarlet Knight! Oh, he's brought Dave a present! It's cash! Chase white and clean clang and it costs a lot. Bitch, I'm always a Pagola, yeah, and you are not mad as me. Keep on going till you hit the spot. Who wants some Cheez Its? Cheez Its! Yeah. Everyone loves Jesus. Big F, who do you got for this game? I got in the lab. I crunched the data. I calculated the numbers. And the conclusion I came to is... It's Toledo! <laughs> big Tennessee! Tennessee Big! LSU! LSU! Let's go Iowa! Go Hawks! This is whiskey weather. You know what's going to warm you up, and that's a good shot of that stuff. Everybody take a shot. Whatever you're drinking, yeah, drink cheers. up. Yes, I'm going back to the side, 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 side. At least this money never really stops, stop, stop. stop, stop. So we're doing a live feature music. Oh, wow. I think the first time we've ever wow. done this. Fortnite. Oh. <laughs> we're gonna bring up Theo Vaughn, comedian Theo Vaughn. I'm gonna let the video this. Wow, that's 
Let it breathe. Fuck yeah, we'll chop it down. That yeah, was fucking chop, chop or something. <laughs> fucking chop. Chop. Hi, everybody. What's going on? First day back. Had my wife uh, dress me. So here I am in um, a shirt made from, I guess, what you would use to cover a Jeep or something. And then a lot of the clothes that I didn't wear on my safari to Africa, where I just returned from. I'm Francis Ellis. Round two. I used to work at Barstool. I was here for about two and a half years. I enjoyed it very much. Made a big mistake one day and got fired. And then it's been three years since that day. Now I'm a new man and I'm, I'm back, in the, back in the ring here. Does it feel like the first day of school? It does, yeah, it really does. But it's, it's like the first day of, of back at the school that expelled you uh, for making you know, bomb threats. So I saw him at like eight o'clock walking up the street and I was like, dude, no one even comes into the office anymore. Eager Beaver here though. Good to have him back. Eager. Yeah. So Big Cat I see all the time. I live right next to him. So there have been times where too, I'll see him in the street and I'll say hi to him. He's so accustomed to being recognized that his initial reaction is always one of like, oh, I'm going into fan thank you mode. But then I'm like, it's me. Remember me? And then it's almost like he's even more upset. I buttered Francis up. I got him a card. What was the card? It was a welcome back card with a little Fandango gift card. Do you feel threatened at all? There's a new funny guy around town? Yeah. Me and Francis never fucked with each other. Ever. And now everybody is back, We're hyping up Francis. Oh, Francis, you're back. It's like, hello, Tommy still works here. Like, why, why, is, why is Francis getting attention and not me? I definitely didn't think I would ever be working here again. Not because of me, but because I assumed the company had no interest in hiring me back. The company has grown so much and is doing so well that as far as I can tell, they don't need anybody. But I guess that's not really how business works. And so it happened in a really nice natural way. You know, the son of a boy dad guys had me on their pod. Dave saw some of that. Eddie convinced Dave to have me on the Dave Portnoy show. And then later that night, Dave texted me, said, you know, let's let's get you back here and i was very moved and uh it feels really good to be back here when i came here with my friends from the jersey tour and francis was doing a bit with um paulie g where he had to take his top off and they were rubbing lotion on each other so that was my hello to him nice body but i think he's got a big ego and he seems loud but i'm excited to meet him and give him the benefit of the doubt but if, if I had to pick Billy Football on my desk or the new guy, you know, my heart, you know where my heart lies. Right? And Billy Football's Muggsy Jeans. Okay. Francis! I mean, I'd like to go cake for cake. Yeah. Come here. Oh, I know where you're going. Have you met? Have you met? No, I haven't. Joseph? Hi, nice hey, to meet you. How are you? Me, you as well. Thank you. you. A little spin for us? A little spin for us? Yeah. Not a chance. Sorry. No, get, but look, what? Sorry, you're a lovely man, but you don't have press, not nearly as fast as Billy Football. Uh, I wanted to give you that desk because I was like, you deserve a desk. You shouldn't be at the bar. Billy Football's never here. He's disgusting. He's got shit everywhere. Process. And he said, Joey said he likes to look at Billy Football. He's got a fat ass. Yeah. And I said, well, you haven't seen Francis. My ass has him. never, has always been a major uh, drawback. It's a hereditary thing. All the, all the women in my family have small asses. All the women in my family have big dicks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, good, good. <laughs> I felt remarkably calm coming back in to work today, mostly because I've worked here before. This is the old office I worked at. A lot of the same people are here. The bosses are the same. Job description's kind of the same. I definitely get the sense that there's been a bit of an ideology shift. When I was here before, there was currency in sniping people. When you could find faults or controversy or get a rise out of someone, that would immediately bring down a horde of cameras for stool scenes. Controversy was elevated to its highest pitch. Dave would then rehash it on Barstool Radio, and you lived your death a thousand times in one day. It doesn't feel like that. I mean, it's only a day. Look at this. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're looking, you're yeah. looking trim. Oh, how are you, pal? Good, how are you? I didn't expect to see you here. Day one, I had to come in. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. <laughs> 
What's up? It's all right. Welcome back. Congratulations. The, the Empire Builder here. Thank you. It's great to see you. I'm well. Last time I was here, you you had not yet taken the sunglasses off. Walking through bars at night wearing sunglasses was so fucking hard. You look healthy though. Thanks. Not you, Riggs. Oh, thank you. It's really nice. <laughs> you look like you're in the sun all day. Uh, we were in. Uh, Rico, how are you, man? How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, thanks. Awesome. It's surreal. This is cool. People have grown up. It's been three years since I was here. Everyone else became an adult. When I was last here, like Robbie Fox, I think was like 20, 19. Rhea was super young. Everyone was really young. And now everyone's an adult. They have a stronger sense of self. People have big plans for the next two or three years. When I was last year, I thought I would be on Saturday Night Live in a year. I have no interest in that anymore. I want to work here and generate so much ad revenue for the company that somehow I can actually ask Dave for a raise and he'll agree. I like everyone here so nice now. We didn't used to be very nice to each other. Do you remember that? We're not yeah, nice okay. now. No, you're nice. I'm nice to you. You well, you're nicer used, than you think you are. Sure. This place used to be terrifying. Yeah. Has Rico tried to get you fired yet? Uh, no. You know, it's funny. I had messaged Rico a long time ago, something nice. Yeah. And he responded back nice, and I'm glad I did that. It's like when yeah. you, uh, oh, you tell smart. the school shooter, yeah. how was your day? Right. And then as a result, they skip you with the Always guy. Always yeah. be nice to the crazy yeah, kid. Yeah, that's it. Well, I mean, there was a time when I was the most likely guy to be the, the school shooter at yeah. the office. Yeah. So I'm not so worried about other people. In fact, one time I said I was going to bomb the office. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No that? kidding. I will do anything for the reality shows, for game shows, travel. I am a yes man. I am Brandon Walker's uncle. That doesn't make any sense. That's how you give yourself job security and that's how you justify a salary that, that people have taken a risk giving you. Triple G, Canelo. I'm getting a little bit high. Not too high, just the right amount of high because I'm having major shoulder pains, like excruciating. I think my suits don't fit, jacket too tight, pumped it out, maybe. I don't know what's happening. People said, Dave, you can't call a fight. Robbie had a little weed. I'm gonna take a little monster hits club. This thing's still going. Tune in to the fight because now you don't know what's gonna happen. But this is me playing hurt, this is me being a trooper, this is me the team guy. So we'll see you in a couple hours. Canelo Triple G to zone, buy it. Legal by the way in Vegas. Yeah, happy to help. Hey, you? you got the notes? <laughs> Picture. You're doing something. Picture. I was looking at it. I, I'm high. <laughs> got it? I've gotten so fat, I think it just like pulls against it no matter what. It's, I have a broken it's like, you, like you're looking at Barstool 2050. <laughs> Still doing it, like, all right, you ready to go? <laughs> uh, no, I saw David Dan talk about this large curse Canelo. That has me thinking. He, there's no way. That would be, that would be awful. And then I'm connected to it. <laughs> We're just gonna believe in the power of social media and true friendship. We're gonna take Canelo all the way. Ooh. You hear how they booed after I booed? Friend center. Turning it up, uh. Turning it up. I'm chasing dopamine, yeah. look what he done to me Peace. Look me deep in my eyes, you really wanna go and spare with me? Scary. How can I make you better, but I break your bones and I make you fed up better. Uh, Break no sweat, I'm a different dog since I fought my devils yeah. I ate for the heart, I give him my heart I'm throwing the shots, I'm hitting the body Somebody trap him right on the floor I'm seizing the moment and knocking his dome The trap in his home, 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 yeah. home. Uh. We turning it up, we letting them know We shutting them up, we running the show We turning it up, we figuring it out We turn it around, we blending it up Straight from the ground, it's going down Silence, they don't want sound, we feel we are wild, uh, yeah
I'm ready to shine, the peace from within, I'm letting it out I'm turning it up, hey, we're fighting the time It's never enough, I ain't need that way to shine I'm all on my zone, I'm all in control See, this life taught me I ain't best Turn it up, we figured it out, we turn it around We blend it up, we shift from the ground, yeah, it's going down No more than silence, ain't no more sound before we get wild I'm ready to shine, the best on my day, I'm letting it out We turn it up, we turn it up Oh, no, 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 I didn't think I would pop off Are you fucking serious, man? Alright, we gotta get some glue, we, do we have any glue? Come on, man I just broke You fucking Was it already broken? Was it already broken? I, I will fix it. I will fix it. Uh, Jerry, I actually know how to fix these. Things. All right, thank yeah. you, Frank. Was it already broken? No, I just went like this. Come on, Dan. And it fucking popped off. God, God, God. You can get some uh, crazy glue down and. Uh, All right, I'm gonna, I'll fix it. It'll I'm never fix be the same. It. No, I will always be the same. I'll buy a new one. Jerry. I, I buy got, a new one, I don't care. I've, you know how many bobbleheads I've gotten? I've had several of them. Thank you, Frank. Right? Jerry, I went, like, look, some, I went like this. I went like this. Get some crazy glue. Get like some uh, Gorilla Glue. Oh, no. Oh, look, it's fixed. Yeah, it's fixed. What'd you do, Jerry? I just <laughs> fixed it. Bro. This is it. I'm not gonna say it, but this is a bad omen. That's so crazy. His fucking head popped off. That's that's. Can his head did it on off. purpose, man? I didn't do it on purpose. No Everyone watched me do it. I went like this. No problem. I slightly, you I see like what's slightly happening? went like that. You see what's happening? The Mets are losing. The Steelers are losing. And our, our bobbleheads are falling, falling off. off. Damn it. Yeah, you you just you wanted, he wanted to hit me. Did you see him throw the bottle at my yeah. feet? Is it already broken? Is it already broken? <laughs> he just threw the bottle at my feet. He's like, I can't get suspended. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And if I if it doesn't glue, I'll buy a new one. I'll get a new one. I'll buy a new one. I've had several well, bobbleheads. Sure, it's gonna be okay. Me. I'll buy a new one. Make sure you put that in soul sinks, what he did. I, mean, I barely touched it. It's like you I know said, how the thing is made of glass. What if Kenny's Dan, made of glass? Come on, you've been in this business how many years? You know these things are fragile, bro. You know I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't know those things. I don't have bobbleheads. Do I have any bobbleheads? I don't have bobbleheads. I'm not a bobblehead guy. Even though I think it was already broken, no, and you're trying to frame me for it, I'll buy you new. All right, I'll get some glue. Can you get some glue? Take this back. Wow. You were never a Trubisky guy. You were always faking it. He was always fake. I'll glue it, it'll be fine. Nope, I'm getting a new one. Yeah. Let's see. Not a bobblehead guy. What's on your desk right there? What's that? This? Yeah, what's that? That's a bobblehead! His this not, guy's a liar! His head's not even bobbling! <laughs> no, what are you talking about? His head. Come on, try! Your it, fingers No, it. his head's not it's bobbling! Such a <laughs> not like I told you. You want to you wanna pop Bucky's head off? No. I don't want No, back. you hold it as, as until, listen, <laughs> listen, no, no, you hold, no, 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 you hold it until I get the Kenny bubble. Deal. That's fair. Deal. Collateral. <laughs> you trying to set me up? <laughs> All right, collateral. Oh, Jerry! <laughs> How could you do that? <laughs> to my Bucky Bobblehead! Oh, how did you? I didn't do that. You gotta fucking. Everything's on tape. You gotta be kidding me, Jerry! Make sure you don't cut any Look of that. Look at this! Either. He's got freaking his drum! <laughs> Jerry just dropped my Bucky no, Bobblehead! No, I didn't. Bucky's mangled. He'll never be the same. <laughs> Get the super glue, you can fix it. I'm mad at you now. I am, I'm mad at you. Oh, man, I wish I had. I wish I had a working bobblehead, but Jerry broke mine. So. Yeah. That's what you look forward to every day, playing with your bobblehead. At least I fucking play with mine. I play with mine too. Bucky Bucky was just sitting there playing the drum all day. Here, you want to wait? Wait, Frank. It's coming out. If a little air gets in the, uh, the tube, then he's dead, right? No, 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 then no. The whole thing dies. No, it's, it's Real life and in bobblehead. Out. Out. Oh. Get you some light. Get you some light. Careful. 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 Oh, no. Is there any in there? Oh, easy, Frank. Oh, good, there we good, go. Good, easy, good, easy, good, easy. good, good, good. Frank! Oh, 
focus. Oh. Oh. It's very heavy. Very heavy. A lot of brains up there. Should we just like leave it, Frank? I don't know if that's the play. I think we should just leave it. No, he listen, he's the doctor here. Do not touch it. I want do not do anything to it. Is it on Be straight careful. though? Is it on straight, Frank? I just want it on the record. This is a sign of maturity and growth by me. Because when Frank just said do not touch it, all I wanted to do was just knock it back over. <laughs> Dr. Fleming, thank you. Jerry, thank you. Bucky, it's fine. Bucky's dead. Okay. Don't worry about Bucky. Jerry wanted that thing dead. My name is Owen Roeder, and I produce A New Untold Story, Son of a Boy Dad, and I'm on the Yak, uh, amongst other things. I interviewed for Barstool in February 2020. Uh, I didn't get the job. Denied on the spot, I think, before I left the building. But I met Jack McCarthy, and uh, COVID hit. I started working for the Barstool Sports Book for free a little bit, and uh, I've been here three years since that, I think. Nick and Kyle just found me in the office, and they liked the cut of my jib. So, as any white boys do, we started riffing on mics. I met Sass, moved in with him. We started Son of a Boy Dad with Roan. They're Korean? I thought they were Thai or like Cantonese or some shit. Uh, multiple forms of Asian. Oh, okay, okay. I definitely fell in love with the comedy scene a lot more than the sports scene. So uh, I felt my heart falling out of gambling a little bit, so I made the full-time switch to uh, production on the comedy side of things here. Yeah, some time went on and then kind of a bummer, but I got another offer. I'm going to be producing the Tim Dillon Show. I met Tim at The Stand, which is a comedy club in New York. Talked for a bit there. He followed me. Uh, we're both from Long Island. Both don't drink. He... Both gay? I'm not out. Um, I, I never planned on being content here, which probably shouldn't have, but, uh, but got dragged onto the yak, and I, I don't know. I just like trying new things and uh, keeping it fresh. Dave, do you know Owen? I know him enough to know he was, wouldn't just waltz into my <laughs> fucking office <laughs> unless someone was directing him. No, to on his own. Yeah. That actually is the most insulting thing that's ever been done by anybody to think I'd think this kid would just <laughs> waltz in and be like, what do you want for lunch? This job got me into journaling. Not in a gay way, but uh, I have so many awesome memories I make here so often that I forget about them and I have to write down all the fucking cool shit I do here because every day we get to do such cool stuff. It's just, it's awesome to be here with everybody. We've been waiting for it all year. Appreciate the time. Best of luck today. All right, you got it. Nice meeting you. So many crazy opportunities and like things I got to learn along the way. I think I'm just going to miss like just seeing everybody every day. I think I'll see a ton of people still and I'll, I'll just miss the people I wouldn't think. Dude, I'll be back by the fucking Merch of Palooza or Telethon, whatever it is. I will be slinging on Will hoodies. No. Ah, uh, but I've always loved Barstool and working here was a dream and leaving it, uh, yeah, doesn't feel like a nightmare, but I loved it here. Uh, I would just like to say that it was the best and thank you to everybody here who made it possible, um, made it feel like a home every day for like three years and uh, I got, I got th this place to thank for a lot of stuff. Um, and, uh, thank you to you guys. Hey, what's up? I'm Dukes with two zeros. Yeah, I'm Rico's blogging buddy because someone has to pay the bills for him. Yeah, so Rico wasn't blogging enough, so I offered to become his blogging buddy, hold him accountable, get in his hole, come in his hole. Rico, I can hold you uh, responsible if you want to. I'll make sure you don't leave without writing one blog. Ooh, sure. That's good. So then I could take the downfall with you. The buddy system. Look at that. Dude that, just I like came that. in your hole. Right. In. I like that. That's the buddy system. We, we maybe should start doing that on yeah. Barstool. It's, the buddy system. It, Mate, can we get like a shot call? on you yeah and dukes controls it like he presses when you write the blog if not you walk through that door zzz. and uh, yeah and i do like the old school like uh when you're at the pool when you're a kid i just blow a whistle every now and then you got to go <laughs> hold up your buddy's hand being like here i am it's dukes and rico the buddy system rico has this little issue though he wants people to read his blogs but he blocks half the internet. So I decided that I would start an email account that is ricounblocks at gmail.com, go through applications, and we would start slowly unblocking people. All right, so I set up an email, ricounblocks at gmail.com, and we got emails all day long, like probably like 80 something emails. 
obviously haven't even read some of them yet. So we're gonna get Rico here. He's gonna unbox three people. We're just waiting on this guy to see who he wants to unbox today. Yeah. Rico Bosco, co-host of Pick'em, um, and now full-time blogger. 2014 was when I started floating around the Barstool stuff. The opinions started to flow in, and then more so, I guess, the hatred of people just kind of looking to give their opinion of anything you were saying. When you're not debating logically, and you're more just saying, like, you're a fucking asshole, scumbag, dildo, piece of shit, loser, fuck face that's when you get blocked like i, I mean I, we can't there's got to be a law here it's a lawless society but i'm the law enforcer some of the emails i'm reading are just absolutely preposterous like look at this one someone got blocked because joe already came to the high school he was nice he talked to us took a picture after i was not aware rico didn't like joe Lenardi. scale behavior <laughs> So Rico has about 10,000 people blocked. 8578. Was up around 13,000 uh, in March of uh, 2022. I think that he thinks that should be more. So we're looking at a glitch potentially. What's up? How we doing? Then on another day. You got to unbox people today? Yeah, three. If somebody, you know, hypothetically had Joe Lenardi come to their high school and they didn't know that you didn't like Joe Lenardi, easy block? No. Some guy had his tweet pinned as Joe Lenardi, like a Joe Lenardi tweet, and Rico saw it and blocked him. And I'm not even sure if the guy initially followed Rico. Rico just happened to see it and blocked him. Because Joe Lenardi came to the guy's class and he was a nice guy, so he took a picture. He said he was blocked because Joe Lenardi came to his high school. It was very nice. He also took a picture with him. He was not aware that you didn't like Joe Lenardi. Okay. I don't I just think Joe like gets too much credit. There's more bracketology. You fucking know I don't like Joe well, Lenardi either. Yeah, yeah, but listen, I don't cover college basketball anymore, so I don't even know who Joe Lenardi is. Uh, we unblocked 60 people so far, but if he wants to be a top 10 blogger, he's got to start unblocking people. We can't be a blogger and then have half of Twitter blocked. Let's do five. Should we do five? Yeah, we can do five. Watch we promise if you go three, we're giving them five. Yeah. Out right. of jail, but on parole. <laughs> You're putting people on Rico probation? Yeah. Look at it from the side. It kind of looks like an ultrasound. She's really doing a good job on those veins. Yeah, oh yeah, it's a vascular ass uh, head. That's what Sass looked like when he had that mental breakdown. <laughs> it's giving you a nice, she gave you a nice jawline. Oh, for real? <laughs> Mine was fine though before, right? You look sick. You should like rock that. Like ill? Could you sleep in it? Yeah, no problem. How long has she <laughs> taken so far? Three to four hours. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you even thought about like your scalp itching? You know what that does? Not it makes it make it manifests an itch. Yeah. Now it now I kind of do. Where does your face start? Cause you're f okay. It's an interesting question to ask someone. <laughs> <laughs> Why did? <laughs> think I could? Do I uh, think you could? Yeah. No. And what was the inspiration? Like, why this? We didn't read the script. I don't know. <laughs> I still don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't what, know I don't, what the I plot is. Not a clue. Yeah, you gotta lay your forehead. Your <laughs> Kyle finally gets his wish of being like 5'10". It's just all forehead. <laughs> Dude, I kind of want to go out in public. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, from the back, it's crazy. <laughs> This is like eight inches higher than my actual belly button. <laughs> is this a boy's abs? Do I have boy abs? Yeah, really, you gotta really like uh, open it up like that so you can shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck are you? <laughs> Where are your glasses? I think on your line, it's gonna be beautiful views, beautiful drinks, beautiful people, and that's where everybody's like, yeah, woo! All right. Just elevating everything. I mean, that looks, through. yeah. You do look great. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I'm up. <laughs> <laughs> it's whatever. So what's your role in this commercial? What do you have to do? I guess just a quick shot of me being a villain. How much total screen time are you gonna have for this? Over, under, like, three sec, three and a half seconds, I think. <laughs> Ready, everyone? All right, toast of the night, we're on. Here we go, clean, clean, clean. Looks like everything really worked out for us, eh, boys? <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful drinks, uh -huh. beautiful food, and beautiful people. <laughs> beautiful people. <laughs> beautiful people. Mm. You know what doesn't hurt? Right. Having six pack oh, abs. Oh, 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 Bring him 
Sportsbook to the South. Finally, someone does it. Is it? We're literally I bringing the Sportsbook to the South. I am cutting the ribbon. There's Wes, he just texted me. Bring it to the people. We could ribbon somewhere else. Why What's are up, we Dave? flying to Youngstown for Rough and Rowdy at like 7 or 8 a.m. on Saturday? Uh, because Youngstown is doing a, uh, a... I don't know if I can reveal this. There's something going on in Youngstown before the weigh-in uh, Saturday afternoon. Do you want me to fly at Hazers? <laughs> sure it is. That's Youngstown. sick. That's, that's, yeah, this is like a high traffic area too, because all the bars are... All the college kids go. Oh, cool. nice. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. We now proclaim Youngstown, Ohio, the home home of. We got that Grant. guy. We got a fan. There's a fan in the back, Frank. Hey, how are you, sir? If you want to step forward, you can watch. You're here for the ceremony? No, I'm here to deliver stuff. Okay, well, go ahead. If you want to stay for the ceremony, help us with the numbers. Proclaim it, home of Grant. Yeah, the city of Grant. Thirty. We should be open. I want to make the first bet. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go UAB money line. Love it. You don't know anything about it. So silly. What are you doing? He goes, <laughs> love it, love it. Like, what? Who do? Who are they playing? You're right. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's why I love it. Just like, love it, love it. I, I'm gonna bet. I'm gonna bet UAB first bet. Although they ruined it, I went up and I was like, so I'm gonna make the first bet. They're like, oh, we took bets yesterday. I was like, all right, don't say that. Took first bet today. <laughs> We've done a million things, right? Like, live shows, podcasts, like all these things. For some reason, like local news makes me nervous. I don't know why. Who, They're the only people that have no this, idea who you are. Yeah, like where's this going out? I don't know. I don't. I don't trust this. Like you could, uh, you could ask me to do anything. I could talk in front of twenty thousand people, no problem. But they're like, hey, the Fox Midnight News is uh, wants to do a quick two minute interview. I'm like, I don't know. Dan Katz, K A T Z. Oh, D A N K A T Z. Okay. Yep. And your title? Uh, podcaster, blogger. I don't. I don't have an official title. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be great. We have our, our uh, meet and greet tonight. We have a, our college football show at Fred's tomorrow before the game. So it's kind of the full Louisiana tour that we're doing tonight. Anything else you want to add? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take UAB money line. For some reason local news is the only thing I get nervous for. Really? Yeah, I just saw. Why? Because like, I know the people watching are like, who's this guy? I'm blown at this. See this? I'm blown at. I'm gonna kill myself if I have to do one of these interviews. I just blow it every time. I like don't know what to do with my hands. Like I, it makes no sense. I'm a guy who can talk on a mic. I think I've proven that. But for some reason, these interviews are just my kryptonite. Every time. So where am right I standing? There. Over right here. There. Yeah. Please give it up for Mr. Big Cat, everybody. Woo! Big Cat's over 10 years with Barstool, and of course you can check him out. They don't want you up there, or? No, but that guy with the uh, mic, the guy who's talking, he operated like 10 minutes treating me like Big Cat. He said, now you're going to speak in a minute. And I was like, oh, that doesn't sound right. And he said, well, you're Big Cat, right? I said, no, 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 no. I, I got the list. I went down. I'm, I'm down here a little bit lower. Hey, hey, everyone. Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming out. The place looks incredible. Thank you to everyone for your hard work. It's uh, Fantastic spot to watch sports, bet on sports. You got his corporate also, face on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me shit. And uh, UAB Moneyline will be the first pick. So, what's that? Who's going? Who's going? You don't know anything about that game. All right, here we go. The ribbon cutting. Kim and Big Cat. UAB Moneyline, five grand. This is good luck for the entire place. Thank you. Yeah. UAB Let's money. Let's go, baby. I'm LSU and UAB. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! 
Hello, my name is Jake Marsh. I am a member of the Part of My Take podcast. When I found out I would officially be calling the inaugural Barstool Sports Invitational, I was immediately very excited. And this was the first event that the company would be exclusively broadcasting. And the fact that I got to be involved with that was very, very exciting. It's unlike anything I've ever worked with before in terms of broadcast partners, and it will continue to be like unlike anything I worked with uh, for the rest of my career. I feel like you'd be a great bus driver. Bus driver? Yeah. Ah, probably so. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not saying I, I've only been in a couple of racks. So I'm waving <laughs> <laughs> everybody else. All right, guys. Welcome back to Nick's vlog. Yo, is that uh, Nick Turani? No, hey, yo, yo, yo. Yo, 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 no, 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 no. We're headed to Philadelphia to uh, play basketball. Really excited. Be sure to uh, tune in for that. Do this. Yeah. All right, guys. Ball and baskets. Ball and baskets. That's my guy. I don't think he missed a shot. There we go. Okay, okay, show me again. Okay, okay, okay. Show me again if you're nice, you can make it twice. Uh, okay, okay. You gotta go three in a row. You gotta go three in a row. Good point. Good point. Good point. Right in chase. Oh. Walking in. Walking in for basketball. Hey, I'm happy you're alive. Yeah, I am too, dude. I had to not be alive. That would have sucked if you died. Dude, really people bad. were saying I died. Will Compton. I was on the ventilator for like three days to keep you like kind of like between awake and asleep so that you don't pull out the ventilator out of your mouth because it's right. super uncomfortable. Theo Vaughn sent me a voice memo. So like, oh, Theo sent you a voice memo and they played it for me. He's like, bro, sack up, be a man. Pull that shit out of your throat. Walk out of the hospital like a man. I told the story to Will Compton. He's like, bro, I'm going to text, text him that you did it. You died. Crazy story. Will Compton hit me up yesterday on the airplane and told me that Caleb had passed away. And man, I, it was it wasn't real cool, I didn't think, but then you know I did find out that he was alive. So it's like I did I was crying in my freaking plane seat, man. I guess it's just been a learning experience, but I don't think that they I don't think they should have done that. You also should absolutely, absolutely do check-ins with Jersey Jerry. He's 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 the mop guy. Everything is the lines, free throws. After they go down the court, I mop it up the lines. Anytime there's a fall, I run out there. So pretty simple. I should it should be easy. I'm ready. Ready to fire. See what we can do, Brandon. That's the only shirt you have. You blaming that on the old lady? <laughs> Good, I mean, it's got to look better than this. I screwed up the words one time. And a World War II vet. It was like. He screwed up the words. So I was like, all right, I'll just never not at least have them out there.
this was going to be a very different viewing experience than anything you have watched before, not even with just basketball, but any sport. Why? Because basically anything was fair game, specifically and most importantly, the gambling aspect. Big Cat and Dave, they both bet from the broadcast booth on the first game, separate teams, UAB and Toledo. Usually when they announce that they have a lot of money on the line in a game, on a stream, everyone else kind of takes a step back. With this, they announced that they were betting money on the game. However, it's a little different because I still have my job to do, which is calling the actual game, doing the play-by-play. -play. So it was really, really unique, and I actually enjoyed the challenge. We're only gonna see more of this, and I think this was a groundbreaking broadcast for that reason and many other reasons. And let me just say this, uh, Dave, I think that, you know, we made our truce on Jinx. I think we should both just root for points to start. I want Let's great figure basketball. it out later. Yeah. Yes, 100%. I'm excited to see these teams. I just found out who was playing today. To be honest, I don't know if you want to put that in, but I just found out who was playing. Rico? Yeah. No show. Lady, come down, explain me the job. I know it perfectly. No clue where he's at. He don't give a, he don't care. Oh, Rico? I, I haven't seen him. Okay, we got three possessions, no points. That's fine. Just a little feeling it out. Games always start slow. I just, the only thing I'm wishing is I was out there with a uniform on. I have one year eligibility left. You know, I, I know if I come back now, I'll probably be the number one college recruit at the age of 46. Everybody wants Damian Gillard. I don't know, I might just come back. We're on camera, we're looking good. I said, there's nothing between them. I said, give me 25 grand responsibly, live first half, plus seven and a half Toledo. And I apologize for swearing to all the kids out there, I won't do that again. No, 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 no. Blocking foul. That could have gone either way. Oh no, way. Jerry almost fell. Can we get a replay of that? Jerry almost hit the dust there. But he's right back up, getting the floor. Doing a great job mopping it up, action. though. Guys. <laughs> He's working his, his butt off. This is when it goes from a broadcast. I'm just sweating. I need these free throws. Oh my God, the old lighting up on the foul. He has a team high 15 points. I missed the spot. I know I got no help on my side. Rico's over there dilly dally and he got help. Don't go, don't go, don't go. Pulls off for three. It's blocked. Two seconds left. No, Jesus. they survived. This wow. leads to Toledo plus this, seven and a half in the first half. Wow. wow. I, if he got blocked and he went going in the other way. So I broke even in that half. Wow. So Dave hits his seven and a half, but he loses two and a half in money line. But so, we'll hit the over. Hit the over as well. So two and two in the first half. Correct. What a great no first blood half. drawn. I mean, I haven't played in a minute. You gotta come ready to go. I'm playing with a potentially broken toe today. So if I miss, it's definitely that, but I'm gonna put on a show today for the people. I feel like I'm gonna shit my pants, dude. <laughs> what? Like as soon as we started getting ready, I, like my stomach just turned. Not out of nerves, I've just been going diarrhea all day. I can see me tripping and actually genuinely getting hurt, like knocking the wind out of myself and be like, hey, hey, in front of like a thousand people, you know? I just, I have adult braces in. I can't take an elbow to the, I mean. He's about to shit his pants, case a woman. I mean, I got all, I got all the advantages in the world. Got a pocket full of Pizza Hut. Right. And welcome to the halftime show, the Bartow Invitational from Philadelphia for Yak Basketball, which just started. Wow!
really out of shape. <laughs> My heart is pounding. Yo, I'm nice, dude. That's literally like a lifetime memory. <laughs> dude, Pat Beverly did that when the uh, Timberwolves made the playoffs last year. It looked so fun when he did it. I was like, I need to do it. shit about him on the broadcast, but he was loving that Rico was airballing the first few. Rico kind of shot him up, dude. He was a legend. Thank you. Thank you. The legend of legends. <laughs> he doesn't know my first name. Give it to my best friend. To it's the real winner. Nice like yeah. that. That's the real winner. Give it to him. Give him the trophy. Fuck no. <laughs> not great at all. It really it did not look great. I'm so out of shape. That's the big message here is like, I need help. A trainer or something or uh, an intervention or something. So if you're watching sports at home, you'll sometimes be in the middle of a blowout, right? Your team's up by 25 points. The fans are filing out. The walk-ons are coming in. You go to game two. Mississippi State was up 73 to 54 on Akron. And you would think, all right, no drama. Wrong. It was within one possession of cashing the over. Big Cat in the booth had the over, and you could sense that hundreds of people in the crowd did too. They're, They're not breaking oh reps right now. They're not even close. This is a catastrophe. They're not falling. This when is Big Cat a needs the first scrub guy. They just start whapping. They start shooting every second. Oh, hit that, please. No. no. They're no, the so bad. After Dave. running out of gas. Just need these guys to say, let me get on the stat line. Let me get a point in my college career. Let me do something. Let me get Big Cat the over. There's still drama, folks. It's hitting that over or will the game stay under? So you have everyone screaming. Oh, this is the Garvin! Garvin! Those I people have the under. That's bullshit. Sorry oh, for the swear it's late. Garvin, you are you. I said I was a Garvin guy. You were a Garvin guy. How, who do these people have the under over there? Under one, under 128. Oh. Don't feel good about it, but there is. Oh, chill! Hold that! No, hold that! Oh, oh, Hell of a job. You were so good. good job. The crowd loved you. Dude, Thanks, you were so good. That A, Frank. A. The crowd was going crazy for you. Pretty cool to have them chant your name. Yep. That's regular shit though for Frank. Dozen on Tuesday. Basketball game on Friday. People just chanting your name. Mets. Probably gonna have a huge off season. Nope. Rough, 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 rough. It's, it's down rough forever. Nice shot. It's a shot. What? Leaving the line, I hadn't shot in months. At the line, I hit it. So that was kind of your first shot. Oh. I needed the line, I hadn't shot in a while. What did need the line be? You had to calibrate. You need the line. Uh oh. 15K. Right. On the check. I just got a frantic call from KB No Swag. He was like, please tell me you're still in the arena. And I said, no, I'm on the bus. And he said, I went onto the court and they won't let me off unless I have credentials. They wouldn't let him off the court. So he's stuck? Yeah. Just like has his hand on his forehead. Yeah. Back on the court. <laughs> it is squeak. That was insane. <laughs> they were mean about it. They were spitting on my face. What were they saying? They 
said, yeah, you're gonna have to go out the front door onto like whatever the street is. And, and I was like, no, I gotta get downstairs. And he's like, no, you're not. I'm sure you handled it rationally. <laughs> oh no, I was trying to like sneak by. <laughs> and that was by far the most unique moment I've ever had calling a game. And like I said earlier, that's the future of sports broadcasting because you don't have to tiptoe around it. And we started that movement right here at the Barstool Sports Invitational. Uh, big day, Big Cat? Huge day. What are you, uh, what are your Coffee thoughts? day, so launch, far? coffee launch day. It's pretty cool. So how long has this been uh, in Probably the Probably a year. And it's very funny because obviously people are like, oh, so this, like, all the memes were just, like, a marketing tactic. Like, I think real stoolies realize how fucking stupid I am and, like, most of us are. I was doing the memes for, like, six months before someone was like, hey, should we create a coffee company? I was like, well, I never thought of that. But I'm excited. Yeah, a lot of hard work. A lot of people, like, worked really hard. And I think it's pretty good coffee. Like, that's the part that I'm very excited about. It's like... Dude, I'm not smart. You've been drinking coffee a while. Yeah, I've been drinking coffee a long time. <laughs> Some Chicago themes there. We got Stella and the Stars. Pretty good. This is the medium roast. This is the Big Cat blend. Shout out Big Cat. Shout out Stella Blue. You know him? Yeah, we're, we're good friends. <laughs> still, still a little hot. Oh, that's good. That's good. Finally, a, a coffee worth stealing from the break room. I can't wait to steal all the Stella pods. I'm going with the medium, six ounces of coffee. Uh, this medium blend has got the body that I'm looking for, you know. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. Well, I'm, I'm a silent partner. Okay. And I'm hoping if it doesn't, take a, if it doesn't taste just like Big Cat, I'm gonna be pissed off. I know the aromas. Okay. I'm going with the Big Cat blend. All right. Because I think that'll taste the most like him. Okay. First cup of uh, Stella Blue coffee, named after uh, Big Cat's dog. And look, I feel like Big Cat is a man that knows a lot about coffee because he drinks it. He must drink a crap ton of it for how much he works because the man never stops. This is me after, before drinking Stella Blue coffee. All right. This is me after drinking Stella Blue coffee. Damn, no. It's a real picture. I was a loser before I drank Stella Blue coffee. And now, look at me. Left hand up. Yep. Dude, I had my first cup of Stella Blue yesterday. I got it behind the scenes because I know the guy that makes it. And I'm undefeated after drinking Stella Blue. Undefeated. Yeah, so Big Cat obviously has been doing the coffee memes for, for a while. The process has been, you know, going on behind the scenes, I'd say probably like a year. Big Cat's been very, very involved. I know he likes to make fun of me, Corporate Hank and stuff. He's been involved in all the meetings, emails, responding to like, you know, finding where the coffee's gonna be brewed, logo design, rollout plan. Big Cat's obviously like, you know, happy-go-lucky, funny guy, but he's always been very, very hard worker behind the scenes. He's super, super detailed with the stuff he's involved in. You know, early part of my take, like the, the conceptualizing and the figuring out the show to what it is today he was very 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 involved and on top of that too so it's it's kind of similar honestly it's just exciting you know the launch was launch was great a lot of positive uh encouragement i'm just excited to see where it goes from here ready one two there you go perfect thank you so much good boy good boy thank you nice. there you go. fine fine okay, how we feeling? great fantastic she looks so good in that shoot <laughs> I never She's saw that for a video. Oh, no. I just want to say thank you to everyone uh, for coming up here, for supporting Stella Blue Coffee. Um, also, thank you to everyone on the third floor because you guys make us look awesome all the time. And I think we kind of forget it downstairs where there's a ton of people who are working really hard, put us in great position. Uh, the launch couldn't have been better. So everyone who's had any work in it, whether it be the logo, the merch, the, the website, everything, I really, really appreciate it. and. Uh, I hope you like the coffee. If you do like the coffee, uh, they're trying to get a couple of testimonials just saying like, I like the coffee. And if you don't like the coffee, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> so I hope everyone up here knows how much you guys mean to Barstool and everything that runs smoothly. Cause they see us out there, but they don't realize how many people are behind us. So thank you and cheers. And uh, yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't really know what you say. When everyone take a drink of your coffee. <laughs> but thank you guys. Thank you. Very exciting. It's very good. I actually truly think that.
10.48 a.m. If there was an announcement at 9, how much time is it till 10.48? That's an hour and 48? Hour, yeah, hour 48, hour but... Hour 48, so hour and 48, any interesting. That's a real shame. That's I'll remember shame. this. That's I'll remember this. I'll remember this. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Can I, no. No. Not for you. You just keep giving money to a billion dollar corporation. Well, I have the most ethically grown beans of all time. It's as ethical as it gets. People were actually asking that. They're like, is it ethically sourced? I was like, bro, you bet your ass. <laughs> Every person who works on my coffee, I give them one free winner. Love the Doug shirt, bro. Yeah, yeah of course. Thank Appreciate you. it. Is Dave in there? Uh, no, he's fine uh, otherwise. Yeah. See ya. Heard you had some car troubles. Yeah, we had a little breakdown. <laughs> Was it Spider? We went to do a pizza view, and like I came out, and you know, you walk out with the camera, and the spider was gone. It was just, I walked out with a piece of nowhere. And I guess a dentist was freaking out that he was parked illegally. And in the middle of getting yelled at, the spider came back to do the pizza review. So maybe the huh. dentist put the, the heebie jeebies on the car. I don't know. Where, what are you doing? I'm fucking switching out this car. This thing just shit the bed. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Bye. Perfect match with Oh. That scene of them just like yeah. playing cornhole, like probably 45 of them just really ugly out. It's like that's it's perfect. That's the whole crowd. Bro. Uh huh. That's the game. Bro. Yeah. Should we go? Should we go challenge someone to beer die? <laughs> are they playing beer die out there? I saw them. I, I saw it out of the corner of my eye. I don't eye. even know that I can. Uh, uh, let we don't have die. to. I haven't seen beer die in a long time. It's, I don't really want to play it. It's more like 100% content. Like, I don't want to play beer die in three. Well, let's give it five minutes. We're going to be muddy. Like, I'm going to have to hit thought. the dirt. We can't play half speed. No. We only know full speed. Like, you're, it's gonna, we're going to be filthy muddy. Yeah, Just go look and see like which, how many tables are there, what's going on, vibe. The things in the air, I can catch it. I have I mean, to make it. You think that I saw that scene and was like, ooh, beer die, can't wait to get on the table. No, I saw it and I was like, Dave and I running back beer die and fucking sleeting rain in Toledo, Ohio on a Tuesday. It would work. It's funny. I'm I famous. Got, got Massachusetts Brownies Beer Die. Like, I put that tournament on the map. I never won it. It's the most competitive beer die tournament in the country. Oh, please. If we go some soaking white, if it goes down, we're going to be muddy. That's. Well, you can't downplay that. Dude, I'm fucking nasty at this game. We didn't act? No! That's the ice guy! What the fuck? What rules? What rules do you play with? Are there any new rules? Have you guys played before? Money, I'm going this before you all have it. I don't, I, that's bullshit, that, that's a fake, that's a new one. That's a drink, that's a drink, that's a drink. It is. on the fucking phone, that's a drink.
still got it. Yeah. He's still got it. Yeah. 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 One, right? Dominated. Oh my god, did we dominate? I was on fire. Dave didn't. I don't think Dave gave up one fucking point. Domination. You almost died. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been the end of you. We found the worst two guys on campus. <laughs> what a home run that was finding those two losers. <laughs> if I had stayed on that table, I would have hit it like seven more cups. I was yeah, honed I in. Oh, he almost died. He almost died. I got, I got pushed in the back. No, you got no. <laughs> You can't have that happen. You'll just watch the results turned out as it was, or else we may be out of this company. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly, it's a big game, and he's just... That kid wasn't even within the same well, zip code uh, as that. It's horrible. Just disgusting effort on that one. <laughs> it's nasty, it's dirty, it's gross out here, and it's fucking awesome. Fuck BG! 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 This is a Tuesday night. Toledo, Ohio. Consensus it's national leading. Title it's fucking freezing. And look at this goddamn crowd. I am like smiling ear to ear. These are the best people. I won a national championship here in 2019. And now you're going to get a key to the city. And who else better to give you the key to the city than the mayor? Football National Champion. Picture, you got to watch the tree, watch well, the tree! No, don't tell me the other ones. I need to find H373s. That's trash. Sounds like Frank. Hi, Vermont Day at Barstool HQ. A little bit different scene this year than last year. No dunk tank. Instead, in honor of the World Cup, it's soccer theme. Eight goalies will have a chance. Should they make a save, they will get $1,000 and remain in goal until they miss, in which the next goalie will come in. Who's going home with the bread? Is it me? Is it Big T? Is it Clemmer? Great merch on sale, all of which is 20% off. If you're watching this, you probably missed it. So I don't know how. We've been in your face, up your ass, but I gotta get loose. I'm about to start stretching. All right, let's see. It's about to be payday. Get in that person as hard as you can. That's the funniest thing. You just fucking boot it at like a Kelly Key's face or something. Is, this right? Is she right behind me? Sure. Yeah. There's a couple people who have no shot. Let me try. Okay. All right. <laughs> what are the rules? Oh. <laughs> What goalie do you want? No. Uh, oh, Nadu. Uh, we'll take yes all day. Hell <laughs> yeah, Nadu. Another dub. You didn't stop one. Another dub. What, what the fuck? You didn't gas you up. And you're out here talking shit. Oh, oh no crap, bro. Big T. Here comes big, big L. <laughs> I'm just gonna kick it low. He can't get down. Just kick it as far as I can. That's a golazo. Do you have any experience? Yeah, when I was fucking four. <laughs> they used to call me Little Ronaldinho. Can I call 
come back for like a trip? I knew you guys said that. I knew he was going to say that. I knew it. I want like the nervous energy. It may be confusing for people. I said he would say no. What am I, like a size? <laughs> it's like a make a wish. Yeah, like alright, yeah. I didn't even want people to know it was me, I just wanted them to do it. Damn it. It's going to ruin my Christmas. Okay, uh, welcome everybody. We got our seventh annual uh, telethon here. The only, as far as I know, telethon that is strictly for profit. Come on, come on, Jerry. Come yeah, on, Jerry. Thank you. The, the more... you got the babes on. You can get it. Oh! $1,000 oh! for Jerry and Jerry. Wow. Water. Water. Yeah. No. I knew what he was doing. I knew it. I said to myself, he's going lower bottom. I just, you know, small feet. I mean, I can't make the adjustments. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some more though. I'm gonna make some more. I'm not going one for two. Dave, 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 Dave. Dave. Oh! Oh! I, I feel okay, yeah. That was wild, that was wild. Wow, yeah, I just got hit straight in the body, but. I'm on that Tim Howard shit. Lock in, yep, lock in. That Hulk Solo shit, my boy. I the ball. Hey, yo. <laughs> wait, 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 maybe not. What did she do? What did she do? They told me it was a holiday party, so I dressed up. And I feel silly now that no one else is wearing anything. You know, I'm wearing sequins. This is a Scotta. <laughs> they sent me the wrong samples, so I do apologize to the viewers at home. <laughs> now we took our original vision and we've actually condensed it's it down. It's come down to this. <laughs> a little different, but go, ladies, hear me out. I'm trying to figure out where, like, we don't sell this. Where yeah. the angle is. We were supposed to sell, but then the merch said, merch said they can't get it done in time. <laughs> Where's the stool sto and stripes on that? <laughs> High end shit. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, oh, here we go! Here we go! Oh, this is incredible. Oh, this is incredible. Come on, Rico. Oh, oh you're up! Oh, What are you waiting for? Come on, let's go. I'm not stopping, man. The Kemi Matumbo is. Beneath me to kick it. Pretty nice. Beneath me to get tricked to kick it. Pretty nice. But he's like a cockroach. We kill him and it keeps coming back. We're out? That was brilliant. Brilliant. I heard that might have come from your brain though. Of course it was. <laughs> oh, you might have thought of that. What, what, what mole told you it was from Big Cat's brain? One of my guys. One yeah. of the top guys. What are you mad? It was great. I just don't get the tricks. All these years later, still getting tricked. Hold on, buddy. and Bosco's still not working with us. <laughs> this is gonna be a crazy episode. <laughs> so Bosco quit yesterday. Dave and Dan are about to get on the episode, talk things through with Hank. As a rotter, I'm broken. I'm torn, because I still can't believe it's fucking real. Just, um, but we're about to record Pick'em. It's probably gonna be the best episode of the year. It's like I'm going into like game seven in the finals, like nervous, shaking, <laughs> excited, all different emotions. I just don't know how to wrap my head around it. You know, it is what it is. Uh, I, I wish him the best. I hope he does well in his future endeavors. Listen, we were we we were we were good. I I, I hate to see him go. I hope he does well. But I don't know why y'all are laughing. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. There's maybe like two people here that if they left, I'd be like, nah, that that makes me it's upset. Congratulations. I live my life. Y'all live yours. This is what it is. Trey sent me a special uh, cover for this episode. That's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta find someone else's hole to come in because now it's just no purpose. But it is crazy. I can't believe that he's gone. I still, I like woke up and I thought that he was gonna be like, he was gonna be like, nah, it's all a joke. But it's crazy how many people think it's, it, it is a bit. Like, yeah. It's, yeah. it's not a bit. He's coming Rico Bosco has never been a bit. On and off camera, it's the same exact guy. This, I would, even as much as I would love to think it's a joke, it's not. Yeah. How's it going, man? Not good. It's horrible. Maybe the worst day ever. I just, it's not gonna happen, but like, 
I, I'm just praying he comes through the door. The, the past, whatever, hours, 12 hours, I've just been like, but like, what if he comes back? Oh, the, oh my God, the letters. What yeah, is like, didn't I say in mine, like, I hope we just get through the show? <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to God, I think that's what mine says. Part of me thinks I really said something about, like, I just hope we get through the season. Like, I, I hope that's, I I hope that's what I said. I haven't read them. Oh my and credit God. to me, I'm shocked I still oh, have this notes. Dude, and Dukes, that is, does a, oh, 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 Dukes does the same credit for, uh, <laughs> keeping on the notes. I gotta get it together. I didn't chug this coffee, it's so blue, it's so blue. I didn't know he left, I, he hasn't, still hasn't told me, so that's, you know, there goes our history. Yeah, we've we've been through a lot, me and Rico. He left to uh, go hang out with our old co-worker, Trista Crick, and I, it's, it's sad to see. It's sad to see someone go and no one didn't even tell me, Liam. I think he's very entertaining, but then he stopped coming to Pick Central every week. We lost him, he was gone. I hope he's happier because he was not himself. He wants to be the straight man. But uh, yeah, Rico. It's sad to see. I can't believe he actually left. I was getting DMs yesterday being like, is this a whole bit? And I was like, no. I feel like he'll be back. I hope he's happier. But yeah, it's been a. Maybe he'll text me. As everyone knows, I went through some things here and I didn't cry at all. Just kind of did my work and I'm back. But uh, it was shocking news. It was shocking news. He didn't tell me anything. Would you appreciate it a hello or uh, a goodbye? Or yeah, a shout out or I feel like yeah. I feel like I was best friends with the guy at one point. I texted him too. I was like, "What's? Are you all right?" He goes, "Never been better. Got to talk to the family. <laughs> talk to you in a couple days. Couple days. It's like he, it sounded like he's going to war." I love Terrence. Rico is being a baby. Right, boys. I'm not happy. I'm actually mad. Ugh. Okay. Um, three, two, one. What's up, fellas? It's it's me, Dave, and Hank. Back to the original three. The last parts of uh, Mount Rydermore still standing. So I got a text yesterday from Erica being like, Rico quit. I was like, shut up. That was my reply. I said, shut up. <laughs> so Rico Bosco's gone. There's a timeline that Dave, you can you could present. I also have a timeline I've thought about in my head. Uh, well, yeah, I, I'll ahead. be honest. I don't, I think Dan, you probably, I, a little more came to light. And let me say this. I'm not mad at Rico. I'm not disappointed in Rico because what I have said for a long time at Barstool is if you don't think I'm paying you, what you deserve, go get it somewhere else. It would appear that's what he's doing. And you know, I like, I do like Rico. I think he's the craziest guy who probably has ever walked through these doors. Ever. And he just kept saying, I'm just, uh, you know, there's no hard feelings because I'm honest, I'm honest. Every other word was honest. And he's like, we'll finish up the season. I'm just being honest. I'm like, I don't even know what you're talking about. And then he told me the company that he's going to, and it is competitive. It's a competitor, competitive space. So they're like, all right, you're out. So if people are wondering why I didn't finish these last two, it's because he's going to a competitor. It's like, I wish you well, but you're essentially dead to Barstool in the terms of being on airways, participating, like you're in a competitive space. I think if he came back, I would make him crawl through the office as opposed to walk. Like he would not be able to walk upright. He would have to crawl. <laughs> and I do wish him luck. All right, so let's read the last note, the last dance note. So if you remember week one, uh, we all wrote down notes. Whose idea was this? Was it Bosco? Bosco. It was, okay. So I don't know who's. Imagine if he says he's leaving in oh, this I'm note. Gonna I'm gonna read his. Oh my god! I need. I, Dude, like, I, I I'd respect the hell out of him. <laughs> All right, do we know? Like who I have an agent. Who's... The joke's on you. I think my name's on mine. I don't even remember writing. Uh, oh oh oh, Duke! I just opened. This has to be Duke's. He just said, "Don't mess the record up more than three times." <laughs> did you did you mess it up more than three times? It's all relative. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's all relative. If deleted tweets count, probably. And this must be Bosco. I think. Imagine if he's like, I'm out of here, you suckers. If you're reading this, I've joined the Taliban. <laughs> 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 Goals for Rico Bosco. A, top five every week. Two, still be employed. No, D, no way it says that. Still be employed. It says that? Still be employed. Oh my God. Still be employed. Still be employed. To, uh, D, still be alive. <laughs> okay, Got that's it. dark. Bonus, this was... <laughs> this was a little, little tear in my eye. 
bonus, Dave to say good job. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> You said good job a lot to him. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing, to be honest with that. Why Why not play out the string right. January 1 yeah. be like, I'm out? Yeah, I'm out. He also did it on Pearl Harbor Day. Yeah. Did Rico Bosco's yeah. family fight for the Japanese? <laughs> Some are asking. Larry Bird's birthday, Pearl Harbor, Bosco doesn't renew. I guess he didn't quit. No, he, but he, just, he just didn't renew. Yeah, I, have, I still haven't closed the book. I, I'll say that. He's got he's got a week. I said it on the pick'em. I think there's a week window where if he comes back, we can build this back up, and then after that week passes, it's probably it's probably over. The book is is still open, and I just don't see him coming to his senses or not his senses. I think he's made his decision. He is. Big Cat kind of said like he's a very proud guy. Like I don't I don't know that he has it within him to like come back in with his hand and hat in his hand, unfortunately, but I'll, I'll be hoping. I mean, uh, end of an era, end of an, 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 end of an era. I mean, uh, you know, the saying is the grass, it isn't always greener on the other side. Time will tell. Sad day, okay. end of an era, a lot of uh, great memories, a lot of great times. Uh, I wish him well. Yeah, I wish him well. I, I wish I wish things had gone differently. I I think there's uh, every there's a lot of things that w went could have gone differently, should have gone differently. Uh, probably I I'll own up to to some of it, but uh, yeah, I wish Rico wish it worked out because shooting star he was great uh, when he was here, but now he's with a competitor, and uh, I think he he wants he thinks he's gonna be a star somewhere, and I hope that happens for him. I hope he's. More than anything, I hope he's happy. Rico is his own worst enemy in a lot of ways and gets in his own head about a lot of things. And it, I think he thinks that this move will give him inner peace. That's all I hope for. First base coach Dave is saying, round it up, be edgy. And I got the third base coach going like this. Now you got, now you got two monkey boys, you happy? So what's D-Day? What, what are we waiting for? The return of RB. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna go well. I think Rico's gonna get shit on like he's never been shit on before. He's gonna have to take it in stride and suck it up and not get upset about comments and you know insults thrown his way and you know hold his head high and push forward or else it's not gonna work out. Is Rico capable of doing that? has not shown it before. Problem is all the things I told him, I've told him before, he didn't listen. That's that's really where it comes out for me. It's like all the advice that I gave him, I've given him before and he didn't listen. So it's like, I'm gonna give it to you again. And if you don't listen to him again, that, like you don't really have any more chances. But if you treat it like you're day zero, like remove all the nine presidencies, like remove your body of work, pretend like it doesn't exist, act like someone who's working here for day one. So you have no leverage, you have no say, you have no expectations. 
and just put your head down for a year, it can work out long term. If you just go back to the way it was, it's not gonna work out. I don't know, I know that I'm probably gonna laugh at some point, he's gonna fucking death stare at me, but I, I think it's gonna be like, hilarious. He might be coming in like this is another shot at the, like his dream job. Dave's gonna come in absolutely shitting on him. Big Cat's coming in like a disappointed dad. I would love to see a storm out tonight, and I think it's gonna happen. I think that's my prediction at 7.05. What's up? What's up, man? How you doing, brother? What's going on? What's up? Here we go. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's like a high school match. reunion the day after graduation. <laughs> <laughs> Got picks in there? <laughs> I don't. I don't think we'll get to picks. So, <laughs> no. Where, where's Dan? I have a key I want. And like if I Ugh. If someone bothers you, mute them. It's a better way to live. Then people can't say that you're blocked and like it's just That's just how you gotta do it. Like that's what it came to. Like you're walking away from the fucking number one show. Like what the fuck yeah. you doing? It still would have been the number built. one show because I would have found someone. I would have found someone. No, this is part of the training. This is verbal waterboarding. <laughs> See if you can handle it. Can he handle it? I want a smile on your face when you walk in the door. Yeah. If you want to pout, you can go to the bathroom and pout in the stall. Okay? Here's here's the God's honest truth. I think you're walking with some balloons and a cake. I, I, I'll tell you the God's honest truth. I don't think there's like... You have to play it up. I don't think there's people that hate you. There are some people that hate you. Let me say that, actually. I think people don't like that Dave and I give you so much rope and you get to act the way you've acted and they're like, fuck this guy, what? no one else gets to act like that. You know, I think you yeah. just need to start square one and, 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 and go around to people and be like, I'm gonna be different, I'm gonna change, I'm not gonna be the same guy that you knew. No pouting. Right. If you wanna pout, pout the stall. I'm, I'm thinking about moving your seat. I thought that was coming anyway. Well, I'm gonna give you a chance to not pout. But if I catch you pouting next to me, I'm you're gone. I think I get hit as, just as hard as everybody, or harder than a lot of people too. So I I see both sides. Mm. There's no no There's that only one side. There's no woe is me. It's not. No. That's the no. Last. There's no woe is me. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a man That's out not of you. I'm gonna me. make just, a man out of you. Fact. I'm gonna make a man out of like, you. I took a beat. Definitely took more beatings than anybody else too. We're we're gonna make a man out of you. We're gonna build you back up. You're gonna be. This time next year, you're gonna be like the happiest person alive. You're gonna have a great job, you're gonna get paid a lot, and you're gonna you're gonna be happy. And you're not gonna let things bother you because you're gonna go into my program and I'm gonna whip you up. You need to be brainwashed. Brainwashing on the You need you need brainwashing. It's crawling back. 